Leos, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of April 19th to April 25th. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth through this and your clarity and your insights for Leos for the period of April 19th to April 25th. If you see what you need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to Universe and closer to Divine, any messages you have will be greatly appreciated and we thank you. What do you see? What do Leos need to know for this period of time? Can you please show me general energies for Leos? What are the general energies for Leos for this period of time? We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Upright. Click on the link below if you're weekly extra based on the justice card as it pertains to love. In there, we will answer who needs to be accountable for their actions, what do you need to judge in a relationship, and what committed relationship is coming your way. Challenge position, we have the page of cups in the upright. In my playlist, 2021 sun moon predictions, what is your ideal career based on your uh, mid heaven sign? And what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? That is a forever work in progress. Um, Advice, three pedicles in the upright. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, we end on the seven of wands and reversed as you move out of the week of April 19th to the 25th. Um, okay, so ten of pedicles, I'm seeing a large focus on on what's going to kind of take you out to the end um and and i mean like you know family support assets the roof over your head um money matters are you investing your money correctly um you're really focused on solidity that week and i think that that's that's pretty much heavily on your mind um you might be talking to people to figure out like what the best move is to make those two people are kind of talking in the background while you know grandpa's kind of sitting back here so you know maybe getting advice maybe talking to family um you know figuring out what you're going to do how to kind of how to kind of make things better have things grow have your assets grow um I think I think you're looking for comfort, security, status this week and figuring out how to make your finances or just your practical things kind of work for you best. And keep in mind, this is a general reading. It doesn't have to be about love. Um, so and, and I think it's I think it's a little bit more job focused. I mean, this is so practical. You're so focused on that um, that it could be job, um, just job or money focused. Now, the Page of Cups in the Upright, that's the challenge position. So while this is all well and good that you're kind of doing that this week, um, what I'm kind of getting is that you aren't doing the things that you enjoy. Um, <laughs> so you're kind of putting that on, on the back shelf, so to speak. The Page of Cups is about, wow, you know, the, enjoying life and doing the things you love to do and your hobbies and, um, you know, volunteering for people, you know, with people and feeling really good or, you know, in an organization where you're vibing with a bunch of people and it's a really favorable situation. I think the challenge is that you're, you're so focused on practical stuff that, um, you're, you're not letting a lot of joy in your life. So, um, you kind of want to, you kind of want to be careful of that. Um, you could also be working in a place where it's all about the almighty dollar. So even though you're not very happy, you don't really enjoy the environment. You just say to yourself, Hey, you know what? So what I'm going to do this. I get a paycheck every week, you know, and, and they have an awesome, um, awesome retirement plan or what have you. So what if it's sucko? Um, I often say that, you know, work is life. Think of, you spend 40 hours a week at some place, that's your life. Make it something enjoyable, you know, instead of just pissing it away is what I'm kind of getting. And you all like, um, you like things and you're willing to work hard for them. So it, it just make sure that whatever money you're working hard for, you're also getting to enjoy it. You know, the Three of Pentacles is here in the upright for advice. Um, I, I I almost feel like they're telling you to kind of um, make, not make a move, because I'm not going to tell you to quit or leave something, but to, to make your work arena or whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing in a practical sense here, make it more lively, make it more enjoyable to you, make it something that you like, um, maybe include other people. You know, um, a good example is, uh, um, I think it was Gary V or it's one, one of those inspirational, you know, motivational speakers was talking about, 
if you have a business, you bring your children into the business, you know, and, um, and, and then that becomes enjoyable for the family because you're all kind of collaborating, collaborating. And it's not like you're just working a nine to five and the family's being left at home or what have you. So I was thinking of that, like, you know, dream work makes, I mean, teamwork makes the dream work kind of like that. So include people that you enjoy spending time with and that have common goals as you and, um, you know, that appreciate the things that you that you appreciate and want to work on the same things that you want to work on. The Three of Pentacles, too, is about working on something that's appreciated and admired by other people. And you guys definitely like that, you know, that kind of center stage thing. So maybe get involved in some work that kind of includes that to really fulfill you. Uh, as you move forward, we have the Seven of Wands here in reverse. And this kind of threw me for a loop because... Um, I don't know if if you kind of bring this notion up or you suggest something like this and then it just gets beaten down. I don't know if you um, like I'm picking scenarios that I'm feeling like it might be you you tell someone you're deciding to leave to go chase your dreams and and like that place of employment is like no you can't leave um, you know you're or you're leaving a family because you know the ten of pentacles is very much about family to go pursue your own dreams and the family is criticizing you and judging you um, for doing that and and you actually feel as though um it's so much opposition you can't possibly counter it so i almost feel like whatever it is you're being um talked out of it or opposed to the point where you kind of feel like giving it up by other people whether they're family colleagues um friends what have you why is the ten of pentacles here in the upright who's this person i also get retirement from the ten of pentacles in the upright Sometimes I get that, like, okay, I mean, now it's time to retire. I have everything I have. I want to, win, you know, um, maybe maybe invest your retirement instead of enjoying it and they're telling you to enjoy it. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in the upright for Leo's? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, you're having to go back to something. Um, so it, it kind of makes sense here because it looks like you're trying to leave, but you can't or you want to leave, but you can't, you return back to it for some reason. I mean, um, it could be, you know, a family business. It could be um, having to take care of uh, someone in your family. Uh, you want to leave, you know, you're not living your dream um, or what have you, but I see you uh, having to return back to it. Um, you leave and then you come back because you don't, you don't kind of think that you'll make it out there or you don't know what you're going to do. The Eight of Cups is returning back to home. So this is a uh, this is his home or family or an environment that's very familiar to you that you don't necessarily feel like you can leave. And you think that if you do, you're going to um, have to come back. Why is this Page of Cups here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Wow, I really screwed my cards up. Why is the Page of Cups here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy in the challenge position for Leos? Who's this person? What's this energy? Why is the Page of Cups here in the upright? Yeah. Going back again. Um... Okay, so you're not enjoying life because you keep on... You, you're going back to resolve something. Oh, estate? There's something you're handling an estate? That, that might be what the case is. You can't do things you want because you have to go back and settle a family estate. I just got that. That might be for a small percentage. You know, it's a drudgery. You have to go back. And, and it's very lengthy. It's a very lengthy process. So let me get that out of the way for some of you. But whatever this is, it's the challenge is you can't move on from this. Um, either there's issues that, that you can't seem to kind of wrap up or you, you can't leave this or I don't think it's that you guys are resisting change in the least. I think this, there's just some baggage to be dealt with, um, you know, problems that you have to kind of deal with. And it has to do with whatever that environment is. Um, why is the Three of Pentacles here in the upper? Who's this person? I'm really feeling like this is an estate, a property, assets, an inheritance of some sort that some of you are kind of unraveling. Why is the Three of Pentacles here in the upright? Who is this person? What's this energy? Additional messages? All right, so they're saying work with other people that that that, that make your life harmonious. So we have another family card here. So this has to be a family environment. Some people consider the office their family. It has to be something in that regard. And, and they're saying work with these people so it's an enjoyable experience. Um, if it's an option for you to work with other people so it's an enjoyable, enjoyable experience, it's fine. But for some reason, they want you to kind of keep the harmony in this. Um, 
and, and, and stay fulfilled. It, it's almost as though you don't want to kind of, you don't want to let the small issues, small tensions and things like that tear something apart. Um, th this really is about harmony with people and they're telling you to do that. <sighs> okay, crazy. All right, why is the seven of wands here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the seven of wands in reverse for Leos. Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages, please. Seven of wands in reverse for Leos as they move forward yeah so somebody doesn't want you to um and, and whoever it is that's opposing you they could be this page of cups somebody who definitely wants things their way and if they don't get it their way they're gonna like throw a little tantrum um they're used to kind of they're a brat they kind of get things their way really kind of immature real chaotic energy they're having a very strong emotional opinion about um you doing whatever you're doing or deciding to do what you're going to do. I, I think it's you trying to leave this situation. And I think there's one person who's having a, a difficulty with that, whoever it is, whether it's a higher up or it's an equal or a family member or what have you. And they're, they're like, no, you're not going to leave. And they want to, they, they don't want you to be happy for some reason. Um, but here I'm saying like work with the people that support you and, and, and lift you up. Don't kind of get bothered with, um, and don't feel obligated. I feel like an obligation. I mean, if that's the case, you're going back because you're obligated. Don't do that either. Um, and don't do it out of a sense of duty or what have you, because I think it's taking away from a lot from your life. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can set that up. Make sure you click on the link below for your weekly extra based on the justice card as it pertains to love. In there, we'll talk about who needs to be accountable for their actions? What do you need to judge in a relationship? What committed relationship is coming your way? Check out my playlist, 2021 Sun Moon Predictions. Oh, excuse me, you're in there. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner sun sign? Ask me a question on Insta. Go check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios. Bye.